All right. Hi, everyone. Today's talk will be about the Central Nervous System Targeted Agent Prediction Tool, in short, CNS-TAP. Uh, my name is Karthik Ravi, and the title of today's talk is Expanding Access to CNS-TAP, the Design, Development, and Initial Use of a Complex Precision Health Specialty Web App for Neurooncology. Here are my fellow authors, and this work was done at the University of Michigan Medical School. Now, before I dive into the details of this talk, I wanted to highlight and showcase our team. Um, none, of the, none of the results that I show you today would have been possible without the efforts from this group. And it really is an interdisciplinary group, as you can see. In terms of the agenda for today's talk, I wanted to start with some brief background of the pediatric neuro-oncology space and also some background of what the CNS TAP tool is. And then I'll dive into the research questions specifically for our project, transitioning into our technical methods, results, and wrapping up with our conclusion and discussing some next steps. Now, background in the field of PD for the field of pediatric neuro-oncology. And so in the US, every year there are about 4,000 new central nervous system tumor diagnoses. And of course, when you look into just brain tumors, this number will be smaller. Um, as over the last few decades, as the field has started to unravel and gain a better understanding of the genetics behind these tumors and highlight some of the, and understand the, some of the key genetic mutations that drive some of these tumors, the field of precision, precision medicine has become ever so important um, in the field of neuro-oncology. And the list of drug agents that can be given for patients is only getting longer. And a unique problem that the neuro-oncology community and field faces is that very few targeted drugs are able to cross the blood-brain barrier and get into the brain with um, effective con therapeutic concentrations. Um, and this can often be the end of the road for many different um, very therapeutic drug agents that are made for other cancers, but won't be therapeutic for, the, for brain cancer, given that they aren't able to get into the brain. And the main problem or situation that the field faces um, at the moment is that because of these long lists of um, possible potential drug agents and the ever revolving literature about these different drugs, um, the treatment decisions for pediatric brain cancer patients um, can often be a subjective and qualitative approach and qualitative um, basis. And that's really the problem that the CNS tab app um, and algorithm is trying to solve by making it more quantitative and objective way to choose drug agents. And so transitioning to just some background of the actual CNS tab tool and algorithm, um, in formal terms, it's a, it's a formalized scoring algorithm um, that assists clinicians to select the optimal um, and patient-specific drug therapies. And specifically, the CNS-TAP tool has 68 different brain cancer drugs at the moment. And it crosses these drugs um, target around 19 different biochemical pathways that are most commonly mutated in pediatric um, brain tumors. The algorithm of CNS-TAP, it considers nine different criteria that it uses to score each of these drugs on Six of these criteria are intrinsic, or what we call as drug-specific criteria. And then three of these criteria are patient-specific criteria in which, based on the specific patient's tumor, um, scores are given. And in the end, the output of CNS-TAP um, is a baseline and patient-specific score um, for each drug that um, targets um, one or many of the pathways that are mutated in the given patient's tumor. So the application, the CNS tab workflow um, is, is illustrated in the following picture. It starts with a specialist user um, receiving a tumor genetic sequencing report, um, which contains the different pathways that are mutated in a given tumor. And so a sequencing report might say that a tumor is mutated in pathways X, Y, and Z, for example. And so a specialist user will take into that 
um, we will read in the data and take into that and input that into the CNS tap um, tool, which will output um, drug agent rate gains for all the different drugs within that target those different pathways that are mutated in that patient's tumor. And so with the results, the clinician will take the CNS tap score and rank drug agent rankings, and they will present this data at a tumor board meeting with other neuro-oncologists and surgeons. And using this result from CNS TAP as a decision aid, um, the tumor board will come to a, a final decision on which drug agents will be given for that specific patient. So the research question. So our specific project um, focused on converting CNS TAP um, in its previous form as an in-house spreadsheet that was almost exclusively only being used by University of Michigan clinicians and converting it into a, a widespread and easily accessible web application so that clinicians can use CNS tab, both um, clinicians from the University of Michigan and abroad. So the first research question we asked, um, as shown on the slide, is really getting at making sure we first understood what are the core capabilities and functionalities of the Excel spreadsheet and the algorithm um, at its core. And in order to understand this, we wanted to make sure that we were able to understand the key functionality so that way we can make sure that those are preserved uh, when we convert it into the web application. And then the second research question centers around the idea of um, understanding what are some design opportunities that are presented that we could use to not only replicate the functionalities of the Excel spreadsheet in the web app, but also incorporate new design features that help make the CNS TAP application workflow process for a clinician even better. And this slide provides an overview of the sort of technical methods um, that we used for this project. Um, after really taking a deep dive and understanding how the Excel spreadsheet worked and how the tool was worked, um, we started off by creating a app design document in, in Illustrator. And then we moved on into creating our MVP. And to do this, we used a low code, plat code, low code platform called NAC. And at every step of, uh, along, these, um, along this project, we made sure to circle back with the team continuously um, to gather their feedback and inform our next steps. Um, once our MVP was finalized and both um, the clinicians and the technical members um, came to an agreement on sort of the design of the app, we then moved into the technical development of the actual web app. And so the CNS tab application was uh, written in JavaScript using the Vue.js, uh, using a Vue.js framework. And at its core, it, um, it uses two APIs, two different APIs that ingest the CNS tab um, scoring model. And of course, we use proper documentation throughout the entire process. So this slide provides some of the embedded design features that um, we have in, our, in the app. And some of these features tie into the first research question as, um, in that they are core functionalities that were already in the previous um, Excel spreadsheet. And then some of these features are new design opportunities that we um, seize to make the process more um, even better for a user. And so I will highlight these features in the next slide, which actually shows the um, some screenshots of the actual web app in the present day. Um, and over here on the left is our pathway selection feature. And as I mentioned, there are about 19 different pathways that the CNS tab tool has as um, the most commonly mutated pathways in the field of pediatric neuro-oncology. And so we created these toggle buttons that a user um, with the sequencing report knowledge um, can toggle the different pathways that are mutated in a specific patient's tumor. And based on which pathways that are um, selected, um, the drug ta agent table will then show all the different drug agents within the, um, that given pathway. And as you can see, there are these, these are the nine different criteria that we use, uh, that CNSF uses to score these drugs. The first six are the uh, intrinsics criteria and the last three are the patient specific. And we toggle the patient specific columns um, on and off because um, the CNSF app can still be used without the patient specific um, tumor knowledge. It would just not um, provide you with the patient specific score and the output. 
And we wanted to include a very easily and easily interpretable visualization of the CNF tab scores. So that's um, what's pictured down in the bottom left is the actual graph. And so within each pathway, the graph shows all the different agents that were scored. And it also shows the baseline and patient specific scores um, color coded based on the different pathways that were selected. And for new users or new users um, who have no previous experience with the CNS tab spreadsheet, we embedded a tutorial into the actual uh, app that walks users through the different features of the application. And just to make sure I didn't miss any of the features, we also incorporated the custom PDF report generator, um, which can be um, activated with this button here. And the reason why, um, the reasoning for why we included this is we really understood that um, in this previous form, the Excel spreadsheet was used to then create a PowerPoint slide deck, which was then used to actually present at the tumor board. And so we wanted to bypass the need to go and make slides before the tumor board um, by just creating the report for the user. And this button over here, the note space, we wanted to make sure that we provide a space for the clinician or the specialist user to uh, input any sort of custom case commentary or comments for this specific patient that they can bring up at the tumor board. All right, and real quick, um, finally, uh, we wanted to incorporate some other forms of embedded support for users. And so I already previously mentioned the, the tutorial um, that's inbuilt into the app. And we also inputted our user manual and we also created an instructional demo video that are all accessible from the application. Um, this slide just talks about some of the, te the technical architecture and the landscape of um, the CNS app in, uh, application in its current form. And so the app is deployed on Heroku and it's linked to two different um, GitHub repositories. One which uh, encodes the, the actual knowledge objects. So the actual um, the database of the different drug agents and their scores. And then the other re repository is sort of for the front end um, design and the UI, the code. And we use Okta, um, a third party platform for our user man registration and management process. And we use Google domain for our domain. So the app is currently live at um, cnstab.org. All right, to, to wrap up this talk, the main conclusion from our project is that the now the CNS tab web app in its current form offers an accessible, rapid and scalable way for neuro oncologists to make evidence based treatment decisions. And that we were able to successfully sort of digitize the previous version of the CNS tab algorithm into its current day form. The main three next steps that we pose and we plan to work on. Um, the first one is the establishment of a batch client feature for researchers. And so this use case would be for a researcher who would like to generate CNS tab scores from multiple patients at the same time, rather than a clinician who may be generating a CNS tab report for just one patient. The second next step is really trying to streamline the way we update the app and update the knowledge objects with that fuel the app. And we wanna make it in a way that the way to technically update the app um, can be easily done by both technical people with technical background and also people without a technical background, um, such as clinicians. And finally, we want to scale our current integration with uh, the PNOC consortium and the Children's Brain Tumor Network. Um, so that way, anyone who could benefit from the CNSF app is getting exposed to the application. And we talk much more in depth about its current use and integration um, into these consortiums in the paper. And to conclude, I'd wrap it up by just saying that um, the, the current app is live at www.cnstap.org. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this talk and feel free to reach out to me at the email listed here with any comments or questions. All right, thank you.